All along from the time we are kids, we get into a system, an education system put in by our parents. And then as we go through, we try to find ourselves, we find what we believe in, we find things we're capable of, our passions, our dreams. And then later on, we align ourselves to what we want to ultimately achieve. But after we get out of this system and after we finish our higher education and stuff, there comes that moment where you have to get a job. And to get a job, you need to face an interview. And that moment, that particular moment could be the making or break of your future. You're watching Good Morning Sri Lanka and I am Vasam and this is MTV Sports. And this morning's topic is all about brushing up interview skills. And to discuss this topic, I've got a gentleman in the studio who is a winner of the Outstanding Young Persons of Sri Lanka. And he is Mr. Shehan Kumar. Good morning. Good morning, Masam. Now, just to give you a more lengthy introduction uh, to Shehan, he's also a marketer by profession. Uh, he's also a professional quiz master and entrepreneur, as well as a creative writer. Yes. Is right. there anything else you want to add to that portfolio, Shehan? Well, I think you covered most of it. <laughs> most of it. Yeah. But it seems like, you know, with, with, with your, with your uh, personality, you, you, you cover various amount of uh, things in, in your whole uh, achievements and, right. and practices. That's right. But basically I'm a marketer, so I find that uh, my marketing skills help me in my copywriting, in my corporate training, mm -hmm. as well as my quiz master. Uh, that's actually uh, something I forgot to mention. You're a corporate trainer as well. Yes, that's right. And uh, that is actually one of the primary reasons that Shehan is with us today because he is going to take us through the whole process of brushing up on your interview skills. Now, I know Shehan, like, so many people, when they get that call, saying once they send their CV and they get that call saying, you have been called for an interview. Now, that moment freaks people out. <laughs> exactly. Right? Why do you think that is? It's like this. I think uh, the CV is the, is the main thing, right? The first point of uh, contact between you and that particular company. You prepare your CV, you send it out. You get called for an interview. Fantastic. The objective of the CV is to do that to mm -hmm. get you through to that interview. But once you get to the interview, once you walk through that door, man, you're on your own. Uh, uh, right? So, so it's up to you to prepare yourself adequately for that. I see, because, I mean, before you do face an interview, I mean, there are so many resources to help you with getting your CV done. For example, with today's world, all you have to do is get online and you'll find a, a format which you can follow and, exactly. and if you're not so great at writing your CV you can always give it to somebody else exactly. but when you go to and go for an interview as you said you're all on your own but before we get to the interview stage Jan, if I'm just to ask you how important is it to have a good CV it's very important because uh, a CV uh, tells the company that you're going for the interview who you are because the company doesn't know who you are right this is the first uh, point of contact between you and that p particular company. So I think uh, a proper CV is very important, right? Because, uh, as I said before, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. So the first impression you create about yourself with, through that company is through your CV. So what you're saying is your first impression from you and the company is a CV? Of course. If your CV is messy, with spelling mistakes, you know, and <laughs> improper information, Chances are you're not going to get for call for the call. interview. One of the other things I want to actually ask you about CVs in general, and there are a lot of lot of things which people say in the sense that okay, people say that no, your CV should be just one or two pages. It has to be short. Some other people think that you need to just you know flood it with all all sorts of information about yourself. Yes. And so, what what is your opinion on this? Basically, my opinion, and I have done some research on this as well, is uh, your CV should be limited to two pages, okay. two A4 pages. If not, the person going through it might lose interest, right? Uh, if, if you can fill up two, uh, two pages on your CV, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. But uh, please try uh, and refrain from, you know, entering things like I, I was a member of this society, that society. That's fine, right? But as long as you are really involved in the society. Okay. Now, say you are in school, right? Uh, if you are if you're doing commerce for A-levels, chances are... All the, mem all the students in that commerce section will be members of the commerce society, right? So please don't mention those little, little things like, okay, you go to, the, go to a Sunday school or the home parcel, right? So please don't mention those little, little things. Mention whatever is important, whatever 
is relevant to the job that you're applying for. I see. Because, I mean, I've, been, I've come across, I mean, I've personally helped certain friends of mine uh, to write their CVs as well. And uh, something I've come across continuously is, you know, there's this whole, whole, whole load of things about the school life. You know, they say interact club, English late, drugger, basketball, etc., chess, yes. you know, the, the whole, whole works. Uh, is it important to have your extracurriculars, your school extracurriculars mentioned in your CV? It is important, but it shouldn't take too much of your space on your CV as well. Your CV rather, I, 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 I have interviewed many people during my career, mm -hmm. right? I'd rather read uh, something different about yourself, maybe your skills, anything different about you than maybe the hundreds of other people that I'm interviewing. So try to incorporate those on your CV and I think you're halfway there. I see. So that is the first step before you get into an interview, you have to ensure that you have an absolutely well-written, crisp uh, and concise uh, CV that you would send to the company you are applying for. Right, Shahan? Yes, exactly. Okay, now getting, getting into the second stage after you send the CV and you, you get a call and now you're getting into an interview. So, interviews. As I, as I started the show, I said, you know, an interview could make or break your career of opportunity. Do you exactly. agree? Exactly. Because when, when you walk into that office, right, that the moment you step into that office can, you know, either make you or break you. Mm -hmm. Right, so your entire life could depend on that. I see. So if you could take us through the process, what is the first thing a person should be prepared for before he uh, get, walks into an interview? What are the, what are the, what are the things that a person should do before, yes. before facing an interview? Basically, first, he should, uh, he should uh, do some research, maybe go online, find a bit about that company that you are going for the interview. Mm -hmm. right? uh, maybe uh, a very important part of an interview is how you dress for that interview. So maybe go through the site, maybe the about us section of that mm -hmm. website and find out a bit about that company, the culture, right? And maybe for your interview, we can dress accordingly okay. to that, right? I know some companies for ladies, they do not allow ladies to wear slacks in office, right? So if you go for an interview in that office wearing slacks or pants, chances are you might not get that job, I right? See. So it's always good for you to go through that co company website, maybe speak to someone, uh, maybe a relative who, who's already working in that company, Find out some information, maybe the person who you are going for the interview with, the person who is going to interview you. Mm -hmm. So just find out a bit about that company and I think uh, you are in good stead there. And uh, would you say that, you know, doing some research about the industry could help too? Exactly, because chances are the person interviewing you might ask you questions about the industry, right? So almost all the interviews that I have gone for, they ask you, okay, what do you know about this company? Right? And, and personally, when I interview uh, people as well, I, I ask that question because I want to find out if that person has actually gone through the trouble of finding out about this company. I see. You know, those are little, little things that go a long way. I see. And what else do you think would be important to prep for before you, you, before you walk into an interview? I think it, uh, the preparation of the mind is really important. Right? If you walk into an interview, if you walk into a certain company with a negative mindset, chances are you won't succeed in the interview. Right? Always go with a positive mind. Prepare yourself. Prep yourself. Mm -hmm. Right? When you go in for that interview, when you sit down, s tell it in your mind, okay, I'm going to get through this. I'm going to get through this. Right? Please don't say it out loud because other people might think, you know, there will be others waiting with you for the interview. They might think you're out of your mind. Mm -hmm. So please, you know, keep it to yourself. S repeat in your mind that, okay, you're going to get through this. I mean, that's a very important uh, point that you brought out there also, which I believe... Um, See, a lot of people seem to also get, a, I mean, when they keep stressing to themselves, saying, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get through this, I, I can do it, exactly. uh, I, I should be able to do it, and in the process, they get really nervous, and sometimes an in, in overload of nervousness, I mean, they said that nervousness is good, but an overload of nervousness can be bad. Yes, that's true. And that could, like, really, you know, ruin things for you at the interview. So, yes. how, how would you, do, do you, any advice on how you can manage that? Yeah, what you need to understand is... Uh, not to take it personal, right? Some people think, okay, uh, when a certain interviewee uh, is asked a question by the interviewer, he thinks, okay, he or she thinks, okay, this is, this is a personal question, right? He, this guy is trying to put me down. But that's not the case, right? Most often, the person interviewing you would want to find out more information about you, right? So, don't take things personal. Okay, if there are 10 people there for the interview, I'm almost 100% sure everyone is nervous there, right? So just go there and do your best. Yes, you have nothing to lose, right?
Correct. Absolutely. Well, we need to go in for a short commercial break, but before that, we're going to leave you with a little song. So enjoy. We'll be right back on Good Morning Sri Lanka. You guys are feeling happy and jolly this morning too. You're watching Good Morning Sri Lanka on MTV Sports and welcome back. Uh, the topic for this morning is all about brushing your interview skills and I've got Shehan Kumar with me to discuss the topic and to give us some advice on how to have a successful interview, to have a great career ahead of you because an interview can make or break your career. Exactly. Now, Shehan, um, we were discussing the importance of CVs and um, the importance of interviews and um, basically how... Uh, a person should prep before getting into an interview in the first segment. Now, yes. coming into this segment, I'd like to ask you, um, one thing a lot of people are really particular about when it comes to interviews is the kind of attire um, you you wear yes. before, before going or, or when, when you're heading to the interview. Yes. So, um, could you give us a little bit of advice on that? Yes. Uh, Wasam, I'll uh, give you two examples mm -hmm. right, of some things that happened to me. Mm -hmm. About three months ago, me and my wife were at a business meeting, it was a casual meeting at a lobby of a popular hotel in Colombo, okay. right? And we were talking with two of our clients. Uh, all of a sudden, one of uh, the clients got up and said, excuse me, I need to speak to a friend of mine. And he got up and went and spoke to a friend of his, right? That guy, uh, maybe in his late 30s, wearing a short sleeve shirt. The tie was loose, right? His uh, shirt had come out and basically he looked very shabby. Okay. He hadn't shaved for about two or three days and okay. he looked very messy. Okay. So uh, this guy talked to uh, the other guy and uh, he came back and introduced the new person to my other client okay. and said, uh, Masang, this is the guy I was talking to you about. Uh, he runs this company. So this guy, uh, my other client got up, shook his hands and asked him, are you a sales rep? Okay. Wow. Right? That guy replied, no, I am the CEO of the company. Yeah. Right? So, uh, the way that guy was dressed, right, gave the impression to my client that he was just a sales executive, whereas he was the CEO and the founder of that company. Mm -hmm. Right? But I so suppose even sales executives would dress much better. Uh, exactly. <laughs> right? So, the important thing to realize is, when you dress, you dress appropriately. Right? If you go for an interview, you dress appropriately. You dress as if you are going for an interview. Unfortunately, now I have worked in a lot of uh, companies in Sri Lanka, right? And uh, when uh, you walk into those companies, right? Sometimes when I walk to the lunchroom of those companies, the way uh, I see those people dressed makes me wonder, wow, uh, didn't these guys go in front of a mirror this morning before they came to office, right? Uh, senior executives of companies, right? I'll use a bit of Singhalese here as mm -hmm. well. Right, I always uh, sometimes see them. Palyat iriti na shirt tekai, harat iriti na kali samai, bola bola tie gaye da angi na. Right, sometimes they look like clowns. Right, and uh, you know, you walk into the World Trade Center. Right, that's where a lot of uh, corporates are located. Right, you go there during lunch hour. You look at the girls, the way they are dressed. They are dressed as if they're going for parties. Right, they are dressed as if they're going out with some of their friends. Not as if they're going to office, right? So unfortunately, uh, in Sri Lanka, I think our guys are still getting used to this. So it's very important how you dress, right? Because if you go for an interview half dressed or maybe inappropriately dressed, the chances are you might not get the I job. See. That's a very, very interesting.